Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaw here. And today I'm going to do something that uh, you never see in this industry or rarely see, and that's promote a little bit of common sense. All right, you always have people in these really extreme fringe diet groups, and they become larger and larger and larger who try to blame individual factors for, for obesity, for body fat, it'll be, they blame carbohydrates, right? They're, they don't single out and say, ah, refined sugars are probably a contributing factor. Like, you know, see, you could take that, that simple line and say, yes, that is true. Refined sugars are a contributing factor to obesity. Not the sole blame, they're a contributing factor. That would be, you know, a fair statement. Uh, reasonable evidence-based statement to say that carbohydrates are the blame that's ludicrous right and you'll hear the the crazy vegans animal products are to blame for all these issues you know as if there is not obesity cancer heart disease in the vegan community right we've seen plenty of all of the above but they'll blame animal products. That's the, the, the blame for these things. Do you guys see the problem with, with these sort of mindsets? Because honestly, let's be fair. Let's take both of those statements that people have made. When you think of people who eat, say, lean meat and rice, chicken and rice, or fish and rice, lean steak and rice, when you think of any demographic of people that do that or the people who you see who live on that sort of food all the time, what do you think of? Mm, think of either thin people or you think of really fit ripped people. Am I wrong? Why? Because that's how people who eat like that, that's how they end up. You don't see extra body fat. You don't see diabetes. You don't see things in groups of people who eat uh, large amounts of lean animal protein and uh, say rice. Hey, rice and vegetables, right? That is a classic bodybuilder diet. That is a classic old school bodybuilder diet that a bunch of guys did 20, 30 years ago to get ripped who competed in bodybuilding. That's the, the, the textbook bro diet that worked. So there goes your whole animal product. There goes your whole carbohydrate. Now, let's step back and be realistic. Before we even get into data, because again, the epidemiology and the science supports what I just said just fine. You don't see diabetes and cancer and the rates we have in the West and populations that eat that way. Much, 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 much lower rates. It's like, again, that's what the data shows. But let's come over. When any of you out there, let's just use some common sense. Let's set aside all this zealotry. Use common sense. When you see an individual who is struggling with their body weight on a very severe level. What does their diet look like? Like their day to day, not talking about when they try to diet. What does their normal food intake look like for years and years? You tend to think of a lot of refined foods. You know what? Hamburgers, french fries are pretty common. Not saying that's all they eat. Pretty common. Pizzas, ice cream, dessert. Right? You almost always see that. How, how often do you see a person who is struggling with their body who doesn't regularly eat dessert? I bet you they drink a lot of calories. Right? Again, whether it's, uh, you know, sodas, full sugar sodas, you'll see that. Uh, sweetened drinks. Maybe their coffee always has to have cream and sugar in it. Right? You see where I'm going here? Without fail, very few exceptions. There, again, there are exceptions to every rule. There are exceptions to every one. I want to be clear there. So I'm not singling someone out who says, hey, that's not me and I still struggle with this. Okay, well, you're, you're an outlier and you do exist. Who do you see struggling with this? What, what do they eat? Large amounts of refined sugar or at least large amounts of very refined carbohydrates combined with large amounts of refined fat. What do I mean by that? Butter or grease or oils of some type or heavy cream, butter, you know, 
again look at their frappuccinos all right this is what you see the people eating Is it from eating fruit? You know, people say, well, fruit's kosher. Yeah, but do you see anyone? You ever seen anyone who who, who managed to become 100 pounds overweight because they ate too much chicken breast and apples? I mean, does this, does this really ever happen to any statistical significance? No. They're eating potato chips and soda. Regularly, so that's normal foods, not something they have once a week as a treat, right? Same thing with desserts. Desserts a perfect example. People who struggle with their body weight, what do you usually see? Dessert is a normal part of their life. It's not, hey, on Friday night, I treat myself to some cake or ice cream with dessert, right? That it's a treat. Maybe when they go out to eat once a week. No, they have dessert regularly, three, four, five times, maybe every day. A milkshake, a slice of cake, you know. That's generally what you see. Why? Because these are how people overeat calories. Okay, how, how do we gain weight? Not slow metabolism. That's, that's been debunked in the, in the literature forever. Years ago, that's been completely debunked. Most obese people have fast metabolisms relative to thinner people. But they're still gaining weight. It's, it's they're overeating because of the, the food choices. Now, is there oftentimes reasons for this? Yes, trauma, unresolved psychological trauma, food addictions. These are serious, these are big deals. And those aren't always just, hey, I can just fix this just by, you know, right now, making a choice. It's not that easy. Um, all right, these these are the problems. It's not because of these other foods. Not because oh they're eating some carbohydrates. Oh they're eating animal products. That's the whole blame. Oh they're eating grains. That's the whole blame. All right, those are insane. Those claims are not supported by the epidemiology. They're not supported by the real world. They're not supported by what we see in the metabolic world. That's not what's causing people to overeat, and it is a, an energy balance problem. Calories in, calories out. Okay. It's all these highly refined foods where people are combining a lot of fat with a lot of really hyper palatable carbohydrates. Okay. That's that's your combination. All right, guys. But well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative. And I will talk to you guys next time.